When a loved one finally decides to get treatment for addiction, it can be a relief, but one family is suing after they say a detox facility cost them their daughter's life. The family of a 22-year-old Ohio mom is suing a drug detoxification center after she passed away within 72 hours of getting there. The family says the woman wanted to kick her opioid addiction for her two-year-old daughter, so she entered the detox facility. They say she didn't know she had pneumonia when she arrived, and the center failed to order standard tests or have her looked at by a doctor. She was allegedly jaundiced and had a dangerously high pulse rate. Instead of being sent to the hospital, she was allegedly given a beta blocker to lower her pulse rate, but that didn't treat the underlying condition. Is the detox facility responsible for this woman's death? You know, this is one of those topics where everyone wants their loved one who's addicted to a substance to get off of it, but it can be dangerous. Can you explain just quickly for everyone the difference between a rehab facility versus a detox facility? Absolutely, the detox facility is usually the first step and not everybody needs this, but sometimes when somebody has a very severe substance abuse problem, they need a medically assisted weaning process off of whatever addicted drug they're on. And it's important for two reasons. One is it makes the process a little bit more comfortable. So people oftentimes will leave a rehab facility if the withdrawal symptoms are too severe. And so this will kind of prevent them from doing that because it's a more comfortable withdrawal process, but also also, the more important thing is that it can actually prevent deaths because there are some known substances like alcohol and benzodiazepines. They are known to cause seizures sometimes with severe withdrawals. It can kill a person. So if you're in a medically supervised facility where there are physicians, nurses, physician's assistants overlooking your whole process of withdrawal, which takes about three to seven so days detox, for most of these detox first facilities. step. So you can yes. be medically safe, exactly. then go through the and process of rehab. And I would think that some centers maybe are equipped to, to do both, but not all. And this story does highlight something else. Sometimes detox needs to happen in the hospital. Absolutely. For a multitude of reasons. Absolutely. Joining us now via Skype is psychologist and attorney, Dr. Lisa Stroman. So Dr. Lisa, I'm gonna ask you more to put the attorney hat on right this second. What are the charges in this particular case? This is definitely what I think the audience needs to remember is it's a negligent wrongful death case where you have malpractice charges that are coming across multiple areas in, in what happened here. So this particular facility was a detox facility, so they should have been equipped to deal with medical problems. Absolutely. This facility actually has both. It has a detox center and it has a rehab after that detox. So how does a family go about knowing what a detox facility is actually supposed to be doing in that first 24 hours, which is so crucial? There were other issues in licensing that they were, that they had let lapse. Uh, it looks like that they've had a board review occur where there was inadequate supervision that was found. So there's definitely some things that if you're gonna trust the care of your loved one, you definitely need to do some more homework on it. But it, it does also highlight one other thing here mm -hmm. because the family clearly has a strong case. Right. And yet withdrawal can be so severe that it can mimic a severe infection or even sepsis-like heart rate increases where someone's withdrawing, their heart rate is bumping up into the 120s, 130s, 140s. You have to be able to think outside the box at a detox facility because sometimes people who are addicted to drugs, they are at higher risk for some of these severe infectious diseases like pneumonia, endocarditis, which can be a fatal infection of your heart.